Devik and Belinda Jagal. I'm Derek Gross. And I'm Belinda Rose. So today we'll be trying out an experiment, Derek. What experiment, Belinda? Um, it's called the underwater candle experiment. I'm so excited about this. So let's get started. The things required are food color mixed with water, a candle, a glass container, and a plate. So let's start. First place the candle in the center of the plate. Now pour the water around the candle. Now cover the candle with a glass container. Derek, what is happening? The water is moving inside. Yeah, Derek. Now what is happening, Derek? Ah, uh, the flame. The flame is slowly turned off. Yeah, and the water level is also raised. Do you know why this happens, Derek? No, I have no idea about it. Well, what is the main factor for fire to burn? Oxygen. Yeah, Derek. The candle burning inside uses the oxygen inside the container, which creates low pressure. The atmospheric pressure, also known as the room temperature, pushes the water inside, and the water level is raised until the pressure is equalized. Wow, this is amazing. And do you know why the flame is put off? No. Like I said before, it uses the oxygen inside the glass container and when the pressure is low, it also turns off. That's also amazing. But Derek, why not try another experiment? Another experiment? I'm so excited about it. For this experiment, we'll be pouring water through a stain. Ah, sounds amazing. Good, so let's get started. So, for this experiment, the things required are glasses, water, sellotape and a string. So, let's start. First, submerge the string in water for a few seconds and take it out. Now, stick the string to to that glass and stick the other end to the other glass. So Derek, can I start pouring? Yeah. See, Derek, can you see the water on the other glass? Yeah, Belinda, that is awesome. Yeah. Well done. Derek, do you want to try? Yeah, sure. So Derek, do, so Derek, do you know why, how water is able to pass through a string? No. Well, this is because when we submerge the water, when we submerge the string in the water and take it out, it's wet. This is because of the adhesion property of water. The particles in water is able to stick with the string. And when we pour the water from this glass to the other glass, the water droplets stick with the water particles in the string and moves along with the string. This is because of cohesive property. What does it mean? Well, cohesion means the sticking together of particles of the same substance, while adhesion means the sticking together of other substance or surface. Can I try one more time? Sure, Derek. 
And that's all for today guys. Please try out this cool experiment at your home. If you like the video, please like, comment and share. And don't forget to subscribe to Belinda and Derek channel for more fun videos. And turn on the bell icon for the latest updates. Bye!